Hi everyone, hope you're having a great week. This week I wanna to talk to you about this concept of winners never quit and quitters never win. As you know from last week, I had a PR, a personal record at the Ironman 70.3 distance. I broke the 450 barrier for the first time, which I'm super excited about. I've been training hard, I've been working hard, focusing my spiritual muscles, my physical muscles, my mental muscles, so I could be my A game for that race. Now, while going through that, I came out of the water and I had an okay swim. I was a couple minutes slower than where I felt I should have been. I came out of transition and <laughs> when I was pulling off my wetsuit, it actually got jammed on my wristwatch and I was literally for 30 seconds trying to like rip off my wetsuit from my wristwatch, which was being pretty tough. And for a second I was like, man, what am I gonna do? And I was looking around for volunteers or someone to help me and I just started yanking on it and I just closed my eyes and I was like, come on. Whew. Thing kindly came off. Jumped on the bike, went for a nice 56, 56 mile or 90 kilometer bike, however you think in miles or kilometers. I had a decent ride. I was working moderately hard. I wanted to be on the conservative side. I had a good race plan and I was really focused on doing the right thing throughout and not to burn out my legs and going through that. Had a good ride. I was getting passed a lot and I could have rode harder, but I wanted to set myself up for a really, really good run. I'm all about a strong finish. And so I came off my bike and it was a big race, uh, several hundred people there, and I came off at about 40th place, so I was happy with that. And as I came off my bike, ripped through transition and started the run. Now, the run in a half Ironman distance is a half marathon, 13.1 miles or 21 kilometers. And about 5K in, three miles in, I started to get some serious cramping in my thighs. My legs started to get sore, and right away, you know, the first thing that happens is, oh dear, I need to slow down. Oh dear, maybe I need to quit. And the race before this, a month ago, I almost DNF'd, which means did not finish. And I had the worst race of my life, the worst performance at the half Ironman distance. There's only three weeks before this race. But I kept going, I kept pushing, I kept pushing, I kept pushing and then naturally doing my thing, doing my systems review, giving my body what it's need, having my mind focused on the right things. I was able to push through, had a phenomenal, had a record half marathon run for this race. Um, you know, it's, I ran a 126, so an hour and 26 half marathon in a half Ironman. And obviously that's slower than just me running a normal half marathon, but to run a 126, in a half Ironman was was pretty phenomenal. And I think that was a top 10 run and that's including you know the pro field as well, which I'm not a professional. I'm just, I do this for fun, recreationally. <laughs> Age grouper, competitive, but competitive through cooperation. And I only compete with myself. And I able to get a top 20 finish as well. So I was super pleased with that. The key thing with this is that a lot of times during that run, I thought about quitting. Not quitting the race, but I thought about quitting on my best effort. I thought about slowing down. I thought about taking walk breaks. I thought about maybe not pushing as hard as I could. The first three aid stations did not have the nutrition that they said they would have, and I was a little bit peed off about that, and finally the last aid station had it, and I took in about 10 times more than what I would normally take in, in that aid station just so I could make it to the end of the finish line running on low fumes. Three weeks earlier, I had the worst race at that half Ironman distance and it was easy to think, my training's not going well, I'm not doing good, but I pushed that race aside. I pushed away the aches that I was feeling aside. I didn't let what was lacking at the aid station say, it's a good excuse to give up. I don't have to push this hard. It would've been so easy to slow down. It would've been slow easy to start walking. Yet on the other side of it, it was only an hour and a half and I had the greatest race and I pushed forward. And so often in life we do this is that we give up on ourselves. We may not bow out and not do it at all, but we won't give our 100%. And I actually started saying to myself, 
I was like, winners never quit, quitters never win. I started saying that to myself. That was like my little mantra as I was running, right foot, left foot. It's like, winners never quit, quitters never win. And I heard another speaker say this many years ago and it was like this little rhyme that was going through my head. But it's so true. And it's not that we completely quit, it's just we don't do our best and our best is what you deserve. Our best is what the universe wants from you. So my invitation for you is whatever you're doing is to do your best, do your best unattached. I was out there, I had no idea where I was in the race. I had no idea what my finishing time was was going to be. I was totally present. I was just looking at how fast I was running every mile. I knew I had to run 13 miles. I had no idea what my swim time and what my bite time was. I refused to change my watch to see my overall time. It was just mile per mile. It's like, I'm gonna do my best for this mile. Finish that mile, stop, next mile would start do my best for that mile. And that's a lot what life is like. So often we think of, man, I wanna be all the way down there. Don't worry about getting there. If you go for a road trip, you're not thinking about the turns you have to make four hours from now. You're thinking about the left or right turn you're trying to make at the end of your road or the end of your driveway. Life is exactly the same. Winners never quit, quitters never win. Do your best, extraordinary will show up. Have a great week, my friends.